Yeah. So this is an awesome shirt. Oh, Kevin in my head. <laughs> 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 is that what he sounds like to you? I was gonna say. <laughs> but that's exactly. If I that's what he sounds like to that. Megan. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> it works. It works. Good morning. So we got a student here today from Los Angeles. Uh, we've worked with her before. She uh, spent time with us in Costa Rica this past January, and she also did a clinic with us in Indian Wells in March. And so this will be her third time working with us, and it's really it's fun to see some of her original clips and compare them to what she's doing today, and compare and contrast. And this is what I love about video, is uh, it's ob totally objective. Like we can f f visually see, okay, here's where we started in January, here's where you are now, these are the things you've done really, really well. And now here's the, the, next, the next step, or here's what we need to revisit. And so uh, it'll be fun to work with her. She's really fun, like uh, personality and person to work with. So it'll be a good two days. And we're just getting started uh, in our first session here. Kevin's going over her forehand, and we'll do the analysis and start running through the process. Everybody is always on the other end of the spectrum, being way too late. And it's actually, for me, as a coach, great to see somebody aware enough and working on it enough to actually kind of split over to the other side of the I'm equation. Working on it. Yeah, no, we can it's very easy to tell. That's awesome. You've done a great it's job. It's a huge improvement from Costa Rica clips for sure that I've seen. Uh -huh. So just making sure you're aware of that that actually you're doing a much better job of making the contact in front there. Even here where yeah, you I'm feel a little tension. A little bit. But the contact. Your body is, the is in a great the position. position. Yeah. There's just uh, some tension there. Yeah. So that's what we're going to work on. Okay. okay. Yeah. There's a lot of professional lesson takers out there, uh, both in tennis and all, also all, all other kind of aspects of life, I think, where people gather information, gather information, gather information. And like Caroline loves tennis loves learning about the game, uh, loves learning about herself and, and how to move. And so she has all of these different styles and opinions and approaches and all, it's all kind of like jumbling together. And uh, it's pretty common with, with people that we see. Like they, we're not the first people they've ever taken lessons from. They're taking lessons from all kinds of different people. And so a big part of our challenge is to uh, narrow focus and simplify where they have all of these swing thoughts and theories and drills that they've thousands of other pieces of information that have been that have come into their head previously we have to try to kind of boil it all down sometimes do a little bit of like myth busting and or like oh maybe kind of what he meant was this and this is how it fits in with what we're talking about and that's it's kind of a delicate balance sometimes uh, but a big, a big part of the process for us for sure uh, so yeah, narrowing focus is, is key. And we're off. Good, Good job. Thanks for my backhand. There's a lot more <laughs> critique for that one today. Well, we'll see, we'll see. We got some good before and after to show you there too. So don't think about the four balls. Okay, so we're right. going to hear the... I'll do a windscreen wiper instead. <laughs> what Kevin's showing you is essentially splitting the difference between those two concepts. What, to me, yeah. windshield wiper is one extreme and four balls is the other, right. is the other extreme. Right. And what, what Kevin's trying to guide you towards is the perfect match of both. Like we want drive, drive's important. We also want lift and spin. That's, my that's, difficulty that's important. Life. What makes what we're doing completely different from anything else that I'm aware of uh, out there, if, if you've seen anything like this, please let me know, because I'm not aware of anybody else who's doing this, is two, two things. Number one is the use of video for everything. No, nothing happens without us recording it, reviewing it, and showing it to the student. Everything. And that raises the level of awareness of the coaches and the students dramatically, a thousandfold. And then number two is the speed. Everything we do is extremely slow compared to a traditional lesson where it's just all about activity and excitement and action. Not always, but, but the vast majority of the time. And so the combination of awareness and slowness allows us to really pinpoint and target exactly what we need to change and then methodically 
but very confidently see the student make that change and then one step after another after another after another see them progress towards being able to do the new thing in a real life environment but if that doesn't start with doing it correctly period to begin with then everything else is pointless it's useless all the running around and hitting if there's no objective checking of what's actually happening it is just a waste of energy and time if the goal is to improve. If the goal is to get exercise, then, then totally fine, great. If the goal is to actually improve, not just to socialize and get exercise and like have some fun, then you've got to go slow and you've got to check it because otherwise you just don't know and new habits don't stick. The old habits suck you right back in and you end up getting swept away in the current of what you've always done. And so as soon as the coach starts to rally with you or you go and you play that point and you're trying to win the point, you go right back to what you're used to. So that's the why or the how or the what behind uh, this process and why we're really passionate about doing things this way. So much of what we work against out there is systemic, habitual tension. There's unbelievable amounts of unconscious tension that 95% of tennis players have in their body. And as we're trying to show them natural fluid movement patterns, natural meaning the way that the body wants to move, basically the enemy against that is, is tension. The players don't realize they're adding into their stroke and into their body, which knocks the racket in different directions that it doesn't want to move in. And training that out of players is, is really hard, honestly. Like it takes a lot of awareness on their part and a lot of uh, just being very intentional and present about how they're moving and then just doing it over and over and over again. It's, p it's possible for an old dog to learn new tricks, but it takes huge amounts of awareness and intention. And that's a huge reason why we go so slow, is just to help them be able to feel it and then repeat it again and again and again. So we made some good progress on our forehand. We're just about back on the baseline now, uh, hitting kind of full court shots and she's grabbing on to what we're focusing on really nicely. Pretty high level of execution, and I think that's super critical to, to manage the level of challenge, manage the level of uh, realism, really keep things very bite-sized and progressive, and that's what allows a student to, to progress. So we're getting ready to break for lunch here in just a second. Uh, Really good morning session. Time has just totally flown by. Uh, after lunch, we'll probably shift over to, to backhand. So thanks for hanging out with us this morning. Hopefully you, you learned something, uh, maybe something you can take away, use uh, yourself. And hopefully it's given you a little bit of insight into what we're doing, how we're doing it. And it uh, gives you a little bit of some stuff to work on yourself, whether you're a coach, a player, or just somebody who's curious about getting better at anything. Thanks for watching.